Hi guys, it's Christine. Okay, so today I want to talk about love. I want to talk about love and disabilities. That's the difference, top, different type of topic I want to talk about. Okay, so me, as everyone knows, I have epilepsy if you've been following my channel. And I just recently got married in February. So the reason I want to talk about love and disabilities is because not only do I have a disability, I met my husband with an obvious disability. And he didn't know that um, I had a disability and I little did I know as well. So we met back in 2016 and we were, we were um, friends, but rewind a little bit. Okay. So, um, we met back in 2016 and, um, he was working at this gym that I started going to a boot camp. I wanted to lose some weight and stuff. And then, um, he was one of the trainers there. So I guess just how I am, I caught his eye and we became friends. We talked as friends for like months. And then one day, like, we just started dating like he asked me out and from there our relationship blossomed my husband's disability is he's an incomplete paraplegic so what that means is he is able to fill certain parts of his legs but he has to use a wheelchair um when he first you know got injured back in 2003 the doctors didn't think he was going to make it, let alone if he did, they didn't think he would ever walk again. So, um, he was in a coma for over two weeks and, um, he woke up out of his coma and he realized that he was paralyzed. At the time he was a paraplegic, he wasn't incomplete. So during that time, he had, um, almost been in the hospital for about like eight to 10 months doing physical therapy and trying, you know, to see how much movement, if he had any, um, they also helped him learn how to use a wheelchair and go up like ramps and different things. So, um, I didn't meet, I didn't know him back in that time. I met him in 2016. So I met him when he was already in a wheelchair and he met me when I already had my epilepsy, but at that time we didn't know I had epilepsy. So I just feel like in the world, you know, everyone has somebody for them. And I always stood by that. And I feel like we both um, loved each other without um, looking at each other in a different way. We just thought, you know, none of, I didn't see, for instance, his disability is very obvious, but to me, I never, thought that was an obstacle. I never seen him in his wheelchair. I just seen him. And of course I knew he had a wheelchair, but I just always seen him as a person. And, uh, with me, he just always seen me as who I am. And, um, I've, you know, just recently in 2020 found out that I have my epilepsy. So in some of my previous videos, I told you guys that I've had my epilepsy pretty much all my life. Um, I went, it went unnoticed for all my life, you know, and um, the reason being is because I have nocturnal seizures and when I was younger, I believe I had like Abson seizures where um, I would just stare blankly without even talking, you know, and then like snap out of it two to three seconds later and people would think like, oh, she's just daydreaming, you know, it just was very unnoticeable. Like it was obvious I had like daydream little things, but it was unnoticeable. The thing that was noticeable for me was that I had my headaches all the time, even as a child. So I believe that people fall in love for reasons. You know, I believe we find our true love, you know, when the time is right. I also believe that, you know, if I met him before his accident, like if I met him as a teenager, I don't think we would have the love we have now. And um, I feel like our love is very strong, very real. And um, 
I just I couldn't see my life with anyone else like that's why I married him I always told myself like I'll never marry anybody like that was one thing I always said like I'll never marry anyone and sure enough he changed my mind and he felt the same way he always said that he would never want to marry anyone either and you know he just said never wanted to have kids like that's one topic we do talk about I have a daughter my kid is 11 and a half but he you know he's the stepfather to my daughter and um it's funny because we talk about having kids and I just say we put it in God's hands and if it happens it happens and if it doesn't you know we have my girl and we just enjoy one kid for the rest of our lives but on that note you guys have a beautiful wonderful day and um if you don't have someone or a significant other or you think you know, um, you'll never have someone. Don't ever put that doubt in your mind. You should always think positive and there's someone for everyone. You guys have a good day. Thank you.